it's Jen from Fabulous Paper Emporium. So I did want to stop. This is not really a part four to the recipe and photo uh, folios, but I did want to come on and actually show you what I've finally put together. So I've left the outside pretty plain as far as the box. I still may do something. The only thing that I did do so obviously I added some titles to my folios. Hopefully you can see those. Yes, you can. So we have, I don't have them in order. They're kind of going this way, which is weird. I've got appetizers, soups, and salads. I have entrees and sides, and I have desserts, drinks, and snacks. So certainly this whole idea, this is just the beginning. Like if you wanted to make this larger, if you wanted to have you know, soups and salads on its own. If you want to have drink and snacks on its own, the sky is really the limit and it doesn't even have to be a recipe book. Um, it could be just photos. You, if you have three kids or three grandchildren or, you know, whatever, if you only have two, then you can always make the holder narrower and perhaps every year you make one and it contains a boatload of pictures of your family or your friends. Um, perhaps every year you make one or, you know, whatever the case may be. <laughs> it's, it really is very limit. It, it, it's limit is only by your imagination. The limit is only by your imagination, something like that. Anyways, um, so obviously put some of the titles on the on the on the books I did put one of these cut apart so this particular collection actually give me one second I apologize my video from earlier I didn't realize how loud that fan is and when I was doing the editing I noticed oh my gosh it's just like this humming in the background so annoying so I do apologize for that so I'll make sure that the fan is turned off it is hotter than heck outside. It's really humid. And uh, so anyway, so that's why I had that going. But anyways, the collection that is uh, Christmas cheer um, does come with some cut aparts. So I used one of the cut aparts, which I'm kind of looking for the sheet. There we go. So this is a sheet of the cut aparts, some beautiful things here. Um, which you could always use inside on the covers of your uh, little booklets. Could absolutely be used for that. Um, this again is the collection. Super cute. I absolutely love it just because it's like reds and black and white. I mean, it just the fact that it's white and black or black and white plus the red just allows the red to pop. That collection, at least what I have on fabulouspaperemporium.com, also includes this collection of ephemera. And this is these are all the little bits and pieces. So this all comes apart, same thing with this one. So you end up with some frames and some little things inside. And I will, I'm trying to see how many pieces, there's a lot, a lot of pieces. Considering I've already used quite a bit, <laughs> I still have quite a bit. So anyhow, I'm just going to go through, there was no rhyme or reasons to which one I chose for which. Um, I just kind of had at it. Okay. So that is the first one. So some stickers on the front, uh, with this, I'll be home for Christmas, I think is a bit of ephemera. So that's that one. So try to make them so that they kind of like work their way into the, the background kind of thing. So, and that's kind of what I did for the fronts of each of the booklets, just added bits of ephemera, some of the stickers, tried to kind of sometimes less is more. I try not to get carried away too much. Um, for this one, I, this is like one of my favorite pages. And so I just added some, this is actually one of the stickers in the sticker. I did use quite a bit of the stickers too. Ta-da! So this sticker is like super long. So I just kind of cut it and, 
you know, have it draping across with some more stickers, some ephemera, some of the more stickers and ephemera on the inside here. And this is the last one. So I grabbed one more sticker, stickers and ephemera there, and the same thing on the inside. And then I just put a little sticker. There were some round stickers and I just put them on the backs. Again, if I had put decorative paper on the back, I probably wouldn't have done that, but just a little something on the back side. So that is what this looks like when it's all done. You can definitely, you know, obviously do more to your magazine box if you so desire, but I think I'm going to leave it like that for right now because... I kind of like it like that. I, I, you know, if it goes on a bookshelf, all that's going to be covered anyways. So <laughs> I, I get a little bit choosy with where I use my designer paper. I'm probably not alone either. So <laughs> that's, that's my reason for not putting anything on the outside, at least not right now. If I happen to give this as a gift, because right now this is staying in my home be for a few different reasons, but A, I really, really, really like it. And so I know what I'll be doing this, this year. Um, these cute little recipe cards, these recipe cards, um, you can purchase at fabulouspaper.com, fabulouspaperemporium.com. I'm going to grab the sheets for you. And we do have these they're not actually on the website yet, but I will be adding them likely tomorrow. So we have two um, different styles. We have some that are vertical, which will totally work in this book as well. I mean, it just, because the, the, the booklets are meant to be taken out. So if you're looking at them vertically as opposed to horizontally, that really doesn't matter once it's out of the book. And then we have our vertical ones. So plant, they're nice and big. They're six and six by four. Lots of room to write on them, front and back. I am not sure what the price will be, but if you are interested, like I said, they will be on our website as of tomorrow, which will be Thursday, July 21st, 2022. And um, yeah, so go grab those if you if you want to. <laughs> if this is something that you're wanting to to accomplish and to make. And Christmas cheer is also available, like I said. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this this tutorial. I I know that this was something I have been thinking about for a very, very, very long time. And I'm so glad to have had it completed. I'm glad to finally have it cut done. And I'm really, really happy with the results. So hopefully you like it too. Anyways, thank you again. So this rounds up our second to last project for our Craftsmas in July series. I hope everybody is enjoying themselves. I see some of the comments. I've responded to the comments. I really, 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 I can't, I mean, hopefully my, my excitement, my appreciation is really coming through because I really honestly do appreciate every single time somebody watches, every single time somebody subscribes, every single time you take the time out of your busy day to send me a message, to make a comment, to like a video, to watch a video. It just, it totally makes my day. You have no idea. So I am really, really, really thankful for that. So thanks again for joining me. Thanks for subscribing and being part of our crazy and fabulous family here. I really do appreciate it. If you're not yet, if you haven't yet subscribed, you are missing out. So please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and you will be surprised. Maybe not surprised. You will be flooded with inspiration. How about that? 
we do try to post at least a few times a week. This past little bit has been our Craftsmas in July series. So we have posted almost every single day, I think, since Friday the 15th. And we are going to go right through until July 25th. We still have our giveaway going on, and that goes on until uh, the final draw is August first and um so yeah so don't don't hesitate make sure that you get your name in uh for the draw it is for a hundred and fifty dollar gift certificate to shop at fabulouspaperemporium.com which is my store we are closing in on one year we will have celebrated our one year as a youtube channel um in august and one year as a company on um, uh, selling amazing paper, products, inks, stamps, dyes, and, and whatnot uh, for a year come September. So anyway, so super, super excited. Now I'm kind of going on and on. So you've subscribed, you've hit the bell, you've liked videos, <laughs> you've watched them, <laughs> um, and you will uh, hopefully enjoy. So thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Glad it was kind of a nice and quick one for you. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing you again next time. And I will, you know, wish you a fabulous day. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.